Hey, this is Sohini from Double Up, and in this tutorial, we'll learn how to use the Ask Toolkit to test our skill, test our Alexa skill in our VS Code um, code editor. So now, this has been a new feature that Amazon has brought in. I think this came around last November, October, November. And since then, this has been really cool for me at least because I'm enjoying it. The way they've created it and stuff. So we'll just um, get started and take a closer look at how it works and how we can make use of it. So at first, um, make sure you have a VS Code editor. And once you have that, you can go to the extensions market in here, type in Alexa, and then you're going to get this. And once you hit this, you can go and hit on install. So it's installed and it got installed pretty quick. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and create a skill. So normally when you go ahead and create a skill, it would ask you for your profile permission. So mine is already logged in from before. That's when I hit on this, I have one already. So I would go and hit on double up. So this would be the, um, so Okay, so these are the existing profiles. So just in case if I want to delete a profile, I can delete it from here. So profile is basically if you have multiple um, Amazon developer cans, you can keep all of them in here together so that, you know, how would you know that you're creating the skill for which account? So this section is for that. So I'm already logged in. So what I'm going to do is create a new skill. Let's say demo skill. So when I do this, this is going to be this and everything's pretty fine. I would select the path to be desktop. Cool, cool. So now I would go and create this. So this is going to take some time because um, this would create this code. Normally, um, this is the time taken by our Alexa developer console to create a skill, create a new skill. So this would just take some time and then this would be ready. So by the time um, this gets ready, how about we just do a couple of things so so let's learn a couple of things that are important um in terms of requirements so i am assuming that you have the ask sdk installed in your um local machine um if you have then you can just verify the version this way and if you don't, then I will give you the command. Uh, then you can just do it, npm install ask SDK. Um, I will keep the command below on the description so that you can install it if you don't have it already. And then you can, you're halfway done. But of course, if you want to test your skill in your VS Code toolkit, you need to install something else as well. So the particular skill that we'd be building um, today, testing out today, needs to have the um, Ask SDK local debug installed in the, I mean, packaged in the skills, in the skill itself. So we're going to install this inside of the Lambda once this is done. So... Yes. It opened this in a new workspace and I think, yeah, this is installed. So now what I'm going to do is I would just, um, yeah, I'm sorry for that. So yeah, so our skill is installed successfully. So now I would go to our Lambda. And as I said that we need to install the um, Ask SDK local debug for our skill to be able to test that itself inside of the VS Code testing simulator. So what I would do is install, just copy paste this command, go ahead and I would open terminal in here. Okay, and then I would go inside of Lambda and just do this. And this is for the second one. Yeah, so so once this is done, we are 30% done. So now when we go to our package.json, we can see this is installed, which is a positive sign. So now that this is installed, we can go ahead and check out the testing procedure. So at first we need to 
to follow a couple of more steps. So we need to have the launch.json file um, that's going to initiate the testing. So how we're going to do that. So we're going to hit on run and we're going to add some configurations. So this is the um, this is for your um, skill to be able to enable the test configurations. So when we head on Node.js legacy, since I'm using Node.js SDK for this, I would remove this because this throws me a lot of errors. And then I would hit on add configuration and I would add this one. If you're using Python, then you'd need to add the configurations for Python and the rest of the steps for Python. So once you've done this and the region is set to North America and the rest of it is set up as it is, as it is required. So now what we can do is just save this. Okay, so once you've done this, now we're gonna set up a connection. Connection is important for your um, skill to get started. So a WebSocket would connect from our machine to the Alexa proxy service. And to do that, we would go to run and we'd just start debugging. Okay, so now this has started. So this enables you to test your skill locally, but this is gonna stay active only for one hour. If you wanna test the skill after an hour, you gotta go to run and start debugging again. And if you wanna stop testing your skill locally, you can just go and stop this debug um, itself. So, so yeah, so now since this is set up, now we can go ahead and test our skill. So for doing that, we need to hit on this icon again. And then we go and hit on test skill. We go to open simulator. And we need to set the skill stage from off to development, which we also normally do in our Alexa developer console. And then we would hit on this and write demo skill. Now it's going to give us the output. Cool. So I want to say hello. That's it. So that's how this works out typically. And this looks so cool. You can see the entire thing. And you have so many options in here. You don't need to go to tab to tab. You can just go to execution info. You can check the execution info in here. If you have a device preview, that is if you have a, what's it called? APL in this then you can have a preview of that we would be discussing about the APL um, functionality for this toolkit as well in the upcoming videos um, but yeah so so this video I just wanted to tell you how you can test out your skill um, through locally through your VS Code toolkit isn't this cool if you really like this tutorial do not forget to let me know in the comments below and if you have any questions you can do that as well on the comments below thanks for watching